Hey, welcome back to Good Guardian Canine Working Dog. Good Guardian Canine Working Dog, more than just dogs. Uh, this is a quick video on the traditional Connie Corso. I am not a Connie Corso. I'm not campaigning for Connie Corso. The Connie Corso is not even my favorite dog. It is the Mastiff that I like, of all the Mastiffs. It's one of my favorite Mastiffs, if not my favorite Mastiff. And uh, because I'm asked to kind of continue doing some of these videos on Connie Corso, um, I do videos on various working breeds. I like the traditional working dogs. That's my dog of choice. It's my preference in dog breeds is the traditional working dogs. I like other dogs too, but my favorite are the traditional working dogs. And the traditional Connie Corso is the dog of choice within the Molosser breeds that I prefer. And since I'm asked to continue doing some of these videos. Here's a quick thought. I'm amazed at intelligent people who's been in dog breeds for so many years trying to justify a boxer cross being a Connie Corso. I'm amazed at that. Any person with any basic understanding of dog genetics will be able to understand that the boxer is a completely different dog from the Molossers. The Boxer is a bull-influenced dog and a pug-influenced dog, by the way, of the bulldog that was crossed with pugs. The Boxer is coming from the, or, or a descendant of the Bullenbeiser. Bullenbeiser is a German bulldog. It's uh, mainly a gripping catch butcher's dog. That has nothing to do with molossers. And that should be quite clear. Um, I don't know how intelligent people would be able to see that as being okay to cross into a Connie Corso and still call the offsprings of that Corsos. The traditional Connie Corso is a pure molosser dog. I shouldn't even use the word traditional because there's only one Connie Corso and it's the traditional Connie Corso. There's only one Connie Corso that exists. So using the word traditional actually place a distinction between two dogs and there is no distinction. It's either a Corso or it's not. And if it has Boxer in it, it's not a Corso. Paulo Breber, if you will, who would be uh, the voice on the Connie Corso about the traditional dogs, he would be the go-to person uh, in all levels of understanding concerning the Corso. He's gained that respect for, for his work over the years with the dog. And he felt so strongly about against Boxer being in the dogs that he gave up his own resuscitation program of the Connie Corso, where those who were assisting him who wanted Boxer in the dogs, he refused that. And he gave up his own program in protest of that. So who else? in the world of the Connie Corso would be qualified to speak against Boxer being in the dogs or who else would be qualified to say Boxers should be in the dogs when such a person as Paulo Breber himself, the historian and a purist who is interested in only the natural dogs that is found as he puts it, he refuses Boxer being in the Connie Corso. Why would anyone else feel like Boxer is okay to be in the dogs? Ridiculous. Before I close this one off, I do want to say how much appreciation I have for Parlo Breber over the years of uh, working with the Connie Corso and also the early portions of the resuscitation program which he started in the, in the 80s. Uh, really appreciate his work with the dog so far and even the Aberroots uh, Mamarama Sheepdog as well. He's done a lot of work with not just that, that dog, countless breeds. So I do want to say thanks to him for that. I think it's interesting also that those who seem to be arguing over whether the American Connie Corsos are standard Connie Corsos or not, it's interesting that they never ever mention Paulo Breber. They mention all kinds of other people as mentors and as a voice of, of um, authority on the breed, but they never mention him. They mention all the people 
that are associated with the hybrid dogs which are not Connie Corsos. They never mention Paulo Breber. I find that quite interesting when there is no one more qualified to speak on the Connie Corso than Paulo Breber, in, in my personal opinion. That might maybe arguably, but I don't think there is much persons who can provide a sensible argument or a strong enough argument that would be convincing that there is any other voice living today, I need to stress living, that can really speak on the Connie Corso as authority as Parlo Breber can. And yet, all of those, the breeders, the kennels, those who are a part of the dog shows, they never seem to mention him because he cares not for that sort of thing, parading hybrids around. He's interested, as he says, in the traditional dogs, in the original dogs. That's what he's interested in. And that is my uh, my feeling as well. I'm more interested in the traditional working dog as it relates to the Corso. I'm interested in the traditional Connie Corso, the old-fashioned Connie Corso, the real traditional Italian Connie Corsos of Italy, the coursing dogs. That dog I'm interested in, not the hybrids, the boxer crosses or whatever else they want to cross into the dog. The modern Rottweilers uh, crossed into the dog's borbles and the list goes on and on. Uh, Great Dane, you name it. Um, Catchweight pit bulls, I'm not interested in any of those band doggings of the Connie Corso. I'm interested in the traditional dogs. so I just want to say thank you to him before I close this one out remember to take care of yourselves and your families enjoy the videos and enjoy the dogs um, subscribe to the channel if you find the material helpful for you and if you enjoy my content you can subscribe if you would like I thank you so much take care